I talked about mental transparency and proprioception. Proprioception, again, is how the body perceives. Now, this child might have a few developmental issues down the road, but uh, what we've got is it starts with at birth, right? When mama gives the baby a bottle, the, body, the kid, the, listen, the kid comes out of the womb, the brain is not programmed with associating anything. So the mama puts the bottle in the kid's mouth and the bottle falls. Mama then picks up the bottle and squeezes the fingers down on it. And that is the first programming you have because you need nourishment. So ever since you came out of the womb, we are programmed to associate increased grip tension with more control. And I'm here to tell you, it's backwards. Okay. What I call the proprioceptor sweet spot is this. This is the fun part. All right, here we go. You guys wonder what this is. This is a bucket of water, okay? And if I'm holding this thing out here, straining like this, and you put up a, a blind here so I can't see, and I'm holding this like this, and you drop that in there, I, don't, I can't tell when that, that hits there, okay? Now let's take this bucket here, another stone here. You put up the blind and you drop that in there, I can guarantee you I'm going to know when that stone hit the, hit the bottom of the bucket. And so with that, what I just uh, showed you was an increase in the signal to noise ratio. Okay, The noise in the forearm is blocking the sensory information because remember your nerves, one set of nerves is motor function, they tell the muscle what to do, and the next set are sensory. So if this is the amount of workforce required to turn a steering wheel, and the next red force is that which is control is desired, sorry, required to control the device you're holding. In the old friction paradigm, remember the 90 degrees of friction in the waist? What happens is you start to use leverage, you've increased your bandwidth, your sensing bandwidth. And that is why a moldable hand grip lets these drivers feel the top of the mu slip curve with absolute increased resolution. This is a uh, race car driver's hands after a race. You guys ever wanna, wondered what it was like and why do blisters happen? Blisters happen because of shear. You've got two layers of skin rubbing against each other with high grip tension. They, they be, that, that you do that right now, you feel the heat. That begins to be an injury. Human body's reaction to that is sent a healing supply of plasma to the site, and that's your blister. Can you? Th I can't think of a better way to block feedback than pain. 